Hey guys, this is Dan from Let's Tank, and today we are going to be looking at the Brewmaster Monk on the Legion Beta. Now, the Brewmaster's basic rotation consists of three abilities. These are Tiger Palm, Keg Smash, and Blackout Strike. Tiger Palm and Keg Smash reduce the cooldown of your Purifying Brew and your Ang Skin Brew. Keg Smash reduces the cooldown by 4 seconds, while Tiger Palm only 1 second. Crackling Jade Lightning is a ranged channel ability. It also sometimes knocks enemies back. Next we have Breath of Fire, which is on a longer cooldown of 15 seconds. This works along with Keg Smash. If targets are affected by Keg Smash's debuff, they will also burn for an additional 8 seconds. Exploding Keg is a longer ability cooldown of 1 minute 25 seconds. You get this as your first talent on the artifact weapon. Its damage is pretty weak. However, every enemy it hits, it makes them miss their next attack. Purifying Brew removes 50% of our current stagger damage, whereas Iron Skin Brew is the new mitigation we have. It will increase the damage we delay with stagger by an additional 40% over 6 seconds. Fortifying Brew is a huge cooldown with a 5 minute recharge time. It has a 15 second uptime and during this it will increase your current and maximum health by 20% as well as increase the damage you delay with stagger by an additional 20% and reduce all damage taken by 20%. Expel Harm will draw in all Chi Orbs around you and deal 1% of the damage that you are healed for. Basic skills like Roll, Provoke and Detox are also back in the Brewmaster's kit. Next let's look at the talents. So level 15 talents are Chi Burst, Eye of the Tiger and Chi Wave. Chi Burst hurls a torrent of Chi energy up to 40 yards forward dealing X amount of nature damage to all enemies and X amount of healing to the monk and all allies in its path. Eye of the Tiger is a passive. Tiger Palm also applies Eye of the Tiger dealing X amount of nature damage to the enemy and X amount of healing to the monk over 8 seconds. And finally, Chi Wave. A wave of Chi energy flows through friend and foes, dealing X amount of nature damage or X amount of healing. It bounces up to 7 times to targets within 25 yards. So as you can see, level 15 talents revolve about a little bit of damage and a little bit of healing. Now, each one can be used in different situations, but most of the time I'm probably just going to go with a passive as you really want to be spamming your other abilities to get your mitigation stats down. So your level 30 talents are Chi Torpedo, Tiger's Lust and Celerity. These are kind of movement speed increases for the Brewmaster Monk. So Chi Torpedo is instant with a 20 second recharge and it torpedoes you forward a long distance and increases your movement speed by 30% for 10 seconds stacking up to 2 times. Tiger's Lust is pretty much the same as on live. It increases a friendly target's movement speed by 70% for six seconds and removes all roots and snares. And Celerity is a passive which reduces the cooldown of roll by five seconds and increases its maximum number of charges by one. Your level 45 talents are to do your mitigation or your self healing depending on which talent you choose. So the first one is Light Brewing, which is a passive and it reduces the cooldown of Iron Skin Brew and Purifying Brew by 3 seconds and increases their maximum number of charges by 1. Black Ox Brew is the second one, it's an instant cast and it has a 1 minute cooldown. Chug some Black Ox Brew which instantly refills your energy and your Iron Skin Brew and Purifying Brew charges. Finally, Gift of the Mist is a passive. Gift of the Ox has up to 60% increased chance to trigger based on missing health. The level 60 talents are kind of like your CC abilities. There's Ring of Peace, Summon Black Ox statue and Leg Sweep. Now Leg Sweep's the same. It stuns all targets around you and has a 45 second cooldown. Ring of Peace, it forms a Ring of Peace around the friendly target for 8 seconds. Enemies in that ring that use a harmful spell or ability will be knocked out of the ring. And finally, Summon Black Ox Statue is pretty much the same and it's on a 10 second cooldown. Summons a Black Ox Statue at the target location for 15 minutes, pulsing threat to all enemies within 30 yards. You may also provoke on the statue to taunt all enemies near the statue. The level 75 talents include Healing Elixir, Diffuse Magic and Dampen Harm. Healing Elixir is an instant with a 30 second recharge. Drink a healing elixir healing you for 50% of your maximum health. 
Healing Elixir will automatically trigger if you drop below 35% health and a charge is available. Diffuse Magic reduces magic damage you take by 60% for 6 seconds and transfers all currently active harmful magic effects on you back to their original caster if possible. Finally, Dampen Harm, instant with a 2 minute cooldown and it reduces all damage you take by 30% from the next 3 attacks that damage you for 15% or more of your maximum health. It's also castable while stunned. The level 90 talents include Russian Jade Wind, Invoke, Nizao, the Black Ox and Special Delivery. Russian Jade Wind is an instant cast AoE spell with a 5.29 second cooldown. It summons a whirling tornado around you causing X amount of damage over 5.3 seconds to enemies within 8 yards. Invoke Nizao the Black Ox is an instant cast spell, 40 yard range, 3 minute cooldown and it summons an effigy of Nizao the Black Ox for 45 seconds. Nizao attacks your primary target and taunts it. He also frequently stomps damaging all nearby enemies. And special delivery is a passive and drinking your Iron Skin or Purifying Brew has a 30% chance to toss a keg high into the air. That lands nearby after 3 seconds, dealing X amount of damage to all enemies within 8 yards and reducing their movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. The level 100 talents include Elusive Dance, Fortified Mind and High Tolerance. Elusive Dance are passive and Purifying Brew also grants up to 15% dodge for 6 seconds based on the level of Stagger Damaged Purified. Fortified Mind is a passive which makes Keg Smash and Tiger Palm reduce the cooldown of Fortifying Brew. And High Tolerance is also a passive, which makes your stagger delay an additional 5% of the incoming damage. Damn, now we've got all that out of the way, let's look finally, finally, at the Brewmaster's legendary item, which is called the Fuzan the Wanderer's Companion. Which, as I said, it is a staff and it is two-handed. Unfortunately, it is a staff, I should say, as as a brewmaster, you'd expect to have a huge keg, something that looks awesome, something amazing, but instead we've got a little equal tiny keg on the tip of our staff that looks really dull and really boring. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that at the moment. We are, however, going to talk about Fuzan's talents and what they do for the brewmaster. So once we get Fuzan, the first thing we get is the exploding keg ability, which I've already spoke about previously, but yeah, straight away that gets unlocked. That is the first talent you put in and you get that from now on. So the first golden talent is Dragonfire Brew, which is a passive, and after using Breath of Fire, you breathe fire two additional times, each dealing X amount of fire damage. The next golden talent is Brew Starch, and it's also a passive, and Activine Purifying Brew or Iron Skin Brew grants you 10% dodge for one and a half seconds. And the final golden talent is Fortification, which is a passive, and Activating Fortifying Brew grants you 25% dodge for 21 seconds. So now, after we've gone over the golden talents, let's quickly look at the smaller talents. So the first one's full keg. It's a passive and it increases damage dealt by keg smash by 10%. The next one's a gifted student and you gain 1% critical strength chance for 3 seconds after dodging or healing from gift of the ox. Next we've got obstinate determination which is a passive and Gist of the Ox summons an additional healing sphere when your health drops below 35% health. And then finally on this one, you've got Face Palm, which is a passive and it makes your Tiger Palm has a 40% chance to deal 300% of normal damage and reduce the remaining cooldown of your Iron Skin Brew and Purifying Brew by one additional second. We then have Potential Kick, which increases the duration of Iron Skin Brew by one and a half seconds. Hot Blooded, which increases the damage of your Breath of Fire's periodic burning damage by 100% and causes it to also reduce the target's damage done to you by 8%. Obsidian Fist, which increases the critical strike chance of Blackout Strike by 6%. Overflow, which is a passive and each time Gift of the Ox generates a Healing Sphere, it has a 5% chance to instead generate a greater Healing Sphere that heals you for twice as much. Dark Side of the Moon, which is a passive and Blackout Strike, also reduces the damage to the target's next auto attack against you by 2%. Smashed, which increases the range of Keg Smash by 10 yards. Healthy Appetite, which is a passive, increases maximum health by 1% per talent point. Swift as a coursing river. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Mulan reference there, if anyone doesn't know it. It's a passive and activating Fortifying Brew 
Purifying Brew or Iron Skin Brew increases your movement speed by 6% for 15 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. And finally, Staggering Around, which has 3 points and it's passive for Fortifying Brew, increases the damage you delay with Stagger by an additional 2%. So, as we can see, the talents are quite important on your routes as you're leveling and to get to that first raid tier lockout. Probably going to be more important to get different talents, but I've gone one route and then it's been nerfed because Dragonfire Brew was meant to have a damage bonus, but then they put it onto Hot Blooded and so on and so forth. So when it actually goes live, plan your route, make sure you know which ones you're going for. Always try to go for the mitigation ones as a tank. Don't really go for the effective health and try to get the golden talents as soon as possible. That's my quick advice to you. Next, let's just have a quick talk about the Brewmaster and how it's currently playing on the beta right now. So overall, the Brewmaster unfortunately is a weak tanking class currently and just falls from hitting the mark. This is for a number of reasons. The first being talents do not give players anything extra to do. This especially goes with the level 100 talents, which are all passive abilities, which do not grant anything exciting for the level and it being the final talent of the tree, especially if we compare it to say the warrior who gets a skill like Ravager. Secondly, our mitigation is all over the place. Purifying Brew just does not hit the mark. Unless my stagger is hitting me for a ridiculous amount, I would much rather use my Iron Skin Brew. Going on from this, the whole Chi Orb mechanic just feels really out of place to me. Considering Blizzard themselves have told us they want healers to be in charge of healing, why then do monks have to collect and manage our chi orbs? The talent Obstinate Determination is a really strong talent for the Brewmaster. However, it is only a grey talent and not a golden one, meaning a number of important things. Anyone new or not doing research on the class like myself at first will not understand how or why this talent is important. Instead, we have Dragon Fire Brew, which just increases our damage slightly, which to me is kind of misleading. I feel you should be pushing players to go for awesome golden tanking talents and not DPS talents like they currently are. Finally, it feels like Blizzard do not want us using too many tanking abilities, being that Iron Skin and Purifying Brew are sharing cooldowns, as well as Fortifying Brew being on a 5 minute cooldown. It just feels that we are getting further away from the class fantasy as people call it and more to a glorified DPS who can also take a slight hit off a mob. Thanks for watching the video. As I said, I'm not the biggest Brewmaster player, but I hope this gives you guys some idea as to which tank you want to play coming into Legion. Personally, I will not be playing Brewmaster unless something drastic changes. Please like, comment and sub for more class preview videos.